up YouTube? It is Matty and I am bringing you the final video I'm going to do in the, uh, the YouTubers War sort of series that we've been doing. So yes, the war's over now, we won. It was a pretty easy win to be fair. I mean, I think without three starring any town or tens we did the best we could in terms of stars wise because all th town or nines were three starred which is good. And yeah, it was just a really enjoyable sort of experience all around. So, oh screen glitch I encourage you to uh, have a look at the other youtubers that were involved have a look at their channels and um, and yeah there's lots of replays and recaps and everyone's got their own opinions and some might even some people might have even covered my raids I'm not 100% sure um, but yeah uh, it's it was an enjoyable experience and I'm really glad I did it met some really cool people and I think some things are gonna happen in the future again because of it which is nice and I'm gonna do a couple I'm gonna do a collab with uh, with Nick by the look of it anyway and do an interview with him um, Brandon's gonna pop over and join my clan for a bit I think and say hi to some people and he's got some ideas for the future as well so it's just good to, to meet these people really um, which was <coughs> it was just uh, an enjoyable experience all around so there are a few raids I'm gonna show I'll start down at the bottom um, and show raid Bob Wolf let's uh, I think it's a she um, let's see what she's got it's a drag raid and it's a town of 10 versus a town of 9 which is normally quite an easy um, thing to th uh, sort of yeah it's quite <laughs> it's quite easy to get the three star when you're a town all above someone much like it's a lot easier for town of 10s to three star town of 9s uh, it does require some precision on the tougher bases but or you uh, if you've got max heroes you just power through which you'll see Brandon does in a minute if you guys don't know Brandon he's um He's the first player to hit sort of level 300, um, which is quite quite a significant accolade to be fair in Clash. Um, he just, I think, his just knowledge of the game is pretty 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 high as well, really, um, which is great. You know, he he gets the the harder strategies. Um, just a generally cool guy. So go and check, definitely go and check his channel out. And it's as as always, it's in the the, the description. So we're gonna. I don't know how many recaps we're gonna, how many sort of videos we're gonna do. I haven't really given it much thought. of <laughs> to be honest, I went back to my home clan because I had to uh, to go and start the war and sort out some issues, which um, which I've done, and I've just popped back now. Um, reverse was it reversal? Um, reversal, yeah, was able to let me back in, which was great. So a few people, a few YouTubers are still around doing their thing, trying to get the recordings done. Um, Random Gamer, which is Mr. Clasher, and Reversal, who is uh, who is the Town Hall 8, isn't he? No, he's the Town Hall 7, I think, actually. Town Hall 7 guy in, like, 3,000 trophies. Um, so, yeah, this this sort of war recap isn't going to be showing the normal sort of Lalu and Hog Attack, Hog 3 stars that what you see in my, <laughs> in my clan wars, anyway. Um, let's check Reversal. Yeah, he's got, like, 20,000 YouTube subscribers, and he's a Town Hall 7. Um... But it's because he's been doing such an epic trophy push series, which, to be fair to him, pretty impressive that you're that high at that uh, at that level at that town hall level. Um, let's go and look at Master Saint. Again, it was another town hall eight, and it was a go wipe. So we're going to speed through it. Um, go wipe's a pretty yeah. I think most people know my opinions on it by now. Um, which is quite ironic because I've done a learning go wipe series. Um. I think just the fact is that go wipe is a two star strategy for the most part. I mean, it's easy when you drop when a town of nine drops onto a town of eight and um, and gets a three star. Uh, but town of nine versus town of nine, if it's a you know it's a moderate base, um, it's got no chance. Even even easier bases can just not work at all. Um, well, that's my opinion. And no, this is another town of eight in the war. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a mass go wipe. You can see by the deployment, it's just lots of wizards, lots of peckers. Um, just slam them in and just watch them tear out, tear it up. Um, yeah, town lights can't really do much when uh, when they're just getting absolutely abused like that. Um, just watching the video, the one arch tower left. Oh, it's gonna get absolutely destroyed. There we go. Sped through the town hall eights. I think we're done now. Moving into the town hall nines. Um, we've got Havoc, uh, known in game as a War MVP. Now this sort of base, I'd have been excited to try maybe a Golo Wee Wee. Um, 
maybe even a a holo um because of all the central air defenses um but clearly golo we would have been a great strategy on this raid actually um all he would do, all he would have had to do um is taking some back end loons so dump the peckers drop a couple of witches down um level th level high high level heroes are a, a bonus they're going to absolutely tear through um, but yeah, I mean, if you'd if you'd have attacked from sort of the bottom side as well, let's say from uh, nine o'clock to six o'clock, and then the main attack through that way, it'd have taken all four air defenses out, and then she'd use back end loons to finish off the defenses. That'd have been a really nice, clean way of doing it. But I suppose when you've got a lower level base like this, and you can see now, um, it's just the the troops are just powering through. There's quite a few defenses still up, so they've got some work to do. Um, I won't zoom in actually. Um, the king's about to take down the and the wizard take down the arch tower at the top on the bottom side. You've got a pecker going on the wizard tower. Queen's moved into a very nice position. She might be able to take down the air defense and um, the arch tower next. No, she's moved to the left. Slight shame there, but the arch tower is going to take too long to kill the golem anyway. And she's going to. You'd have thought. I think she's going to shoot a wall. Yeah. Um, you can always tell when the queen's about to shoot a wall, she, yeah, which is pretty much 90% of the time if you uh, watch Clash of Clans videos. Um, anyway, this raid's over now. Just going to flick through the last bit of cleanup, and boom, nice three star by Havoc. Let's see what we got on the next one. Uh, Brandon 2 on the number 11. What could this be? Go wee wee. Go in with four witches and sort of 19, well, 20 wizards or so. Um, ah, it's a town or 10. I didn't realize it was a town or 10 attack. Um, but yeah, because it's got so many wizards and witches, it's just going to be an absolute overpowered sort of raid. Jump spell nicely placed. Lightning spell in as well to help take down the CC. Those loons need to die and hopefully they don't land on too many wizards, which they didn't. Um, another rage spell could have pushed that rage spell more over the town hall, I think. Um, and the free spell in as well. And at this point, in the raid, there's so many troops at such high health, so deep into the base that you it, the the, um, the raid's pretty much sealed already. Would have been nice, I think, instead of maybe the free, is to bring an extra jump back end jump spell um, for sort of that upper the compartment over here. Look, where it would let you into. Uh, the wizard tower and one of the arch to and the arch tower depart um, compartment that might have been better but i th well clearly he gets away with the three star anyway which is nice got a few peck uh, got a couple of peckers um wizards queen queens not even used the ability yet so that's how we know it's going to be a nice three star um but yeah here comes the sort of the end of the raid the pecker takes it down and the nice three star at the finish what else we got? What else have we got to play with in this war? Number 10. Now, Brandon obviously being the top guy in the the war, um, he barged a base for a three star. That's ridiculous. I've never seen a barge three star in a clan war. So I'm actually really glad he tried it. Clearly, um, it was going to be risky. Uh, but I think we we all knew the war was over, to be fair. I mean, if you, <laughs> it's fair play. I mean, I've ne I've never. You wouldn't think that you'd be able to barge a base three star town or nine in a war environment, um, with a CC to think about the heroes, um, full defenses, expose the works. You know, um, you can see a lot of the barges died. Um, it's it, to be on it. Let's be for Let's be honest about this. It's the level 40 heroes which are going <laughs> to really be taking down the most of this base. But the barbs and archers are just there enough to distract um, the def um, sorry, to clean up the buildings and, and help assist. The king seems to be taking the brunt of the firepower at the moment. But because the archers are moving through with him and taking down the defences which are killing him, um, it's actually working quite nicely. So the king's still got health. He might even survive if that test... Yeah, he's still alive, look. Uh, the queen's moving into it, starting to clutch it as well. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six defences still to go that can do damage. Um, so it's going to be absolutely clutch if it... Well, again, you know he gets the three star, but it's ridiculous that, um, oh, that that's able to be done, to be fair. 
Queen ability is going to clutch it by the look of it. That cannon about to go down now. They've still got the Golemites moving through. With the air defense going down, the Queen is going to move around. And it's just the three point defenses to go in the Wizard Tower. Wizard Tower is not too much of a threat, as you know, because it's only uh, sort of best at splash damage. It's, the, it's all about the Queen. It's the Queen show now. And it is the Queen that's going to clutch it for him. Look, um, that building at the top, by the way, um, still alive. But watch, Queen takes it all down, takes down the cannon, and now it's just a case of can the troops get to that barracks within the time. And I think it was very close on the time as well. And the Queen came in and finished it off. So that was an absolutely beast raid by Brandon. Unbelievable. Never seen Barchin War before. Um, moving up to number eight. Let's see what we've got here. It's a go we wipe. <laughs> By the look of it, um, he might have some extra witches in the CC as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, doing a, it already looks like he's doing it. Um, a little bit of thought in it because he's pulled, got the CC pull. Looks like he's going to actually do a proper CC kill. Uh, yep, it's got two, two, three in the CC. So uh, two, um, sorry, three barbs, two wizards, two witches. Um, very effective CC kill squad. And you can see, dealt with the enemy CC quite quickly. Golem down, um, wizards going down, um, wall breakers, peckers, heroes. It's all sort of guiding um, them inside. Not much of funneling. Um, now, when I normally do any form of go wee wee, anything like this, I, I try to make sure that the funneling is right. So if I, that was me and I did a normal three golem spread, I'd have done sort of, a, if he was if attacking through 12, which it looks like he was, I'd have done a golem at sort of 10 and 2. Um, and then wizard spread across all three golems to sort of make sure the troops guide in. Um, because you can see the peckers of, all three peckers have run around the outside. Now, I don't know if he intended to do that. Um, but for me, when I'm not, whenever I'm doing a sort of a, um, a raid of this scenario of this sort, um, I would be using a jump spell to get out, or even a rage spell to get out of the core, which is fine. But I'd want my peckers to go in and through the core. That's the idea. That's m my thoughts on it. Um, and it just shows that because because without the funneling um, of making sure the troops are going the right way. Peckers, heroes, king especially likes to do it sometimes as well. They just run around the outside of the base. That's the last thing you you want in my book. Um, as it happens, it might have been an advantage in this raid because the level five peckers are so powerful they were just able to take down anything in their path. Um, so you might have planned for them to circle around. I don't know, but that was a nice raid and it was a nice three star. What can I say? Um, moving. On. We've already showed one of Brandon 2's. No, I will show this one because this raid, I watched it live, and this was a nail biter as well. So, uh, pretty pretty high level Town Hall 9. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it's got almost full la uh, Lego walls. Um, here, what, what level's the Queen? Oh, she's only level 11. So, it's a shame when you see that. Like a quite a nice looking town on iron in terms of the Lego walls, and then a, a puny queen. I consider anything below level 15 queen to be puny, to be honest. So, level 16, which Brandon's got, you know, it's it's starting to get there. When you hit the the 20, and uh, that's when things I think start feeling better when you're using the heroes. Now, the raid delivery looks very nice to me so far. Everything's sort of m moving quite well. Um, it's always going to be difficult trying to do a three star on with just a flat go wee wee when it comes or go wee wipe when it comes to uh, pretty high level bases, which this I would class this as. Obviously, it's a max town or nine um, defense wise anyway, minus the queen. So it's 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 always a challenge, which is why Hogs and Larloon have, have sort of overtaken in popularity because they're so much more effective. Um, but you can see the a lot of the defense, the queen's going to die soon. Um, it's going to really rely on the witches, actually, um, of all things. Because the wizard's about to die as well. All the wizards that are in the core are dead. Um, and it's just, you've got a couple of golems that have, done a that have managed to survive a long time. And you've got those couple of witches with a lot of skeletons. And it's, there's three witches alive, I, I can see. Unless there's a fourth knocking around, which I can't see. Um, hold on. 
but with three witches, what do they produce? Like six skeletons each. So that's adding a pre some pretty good amount of firepower into the uh, into the mix. And if you can get them all going on the same piece of wall, they will get through it. Um, but it's all a case of how, if, can. I was watching the raid and I called it as a two star early on because I thought, yeah, this has got this is a two. This looks like a two star raid to me. But it's just the way the troops moved around and um, and the skeletons really did clutch it. So I think it's the fact that he had the, the three witches live. And it came to the start of the raid, to be honest, where he deployed it nicely at the start, meaning that his witches were protected and they remained protected throughout. And in the at the end of the raid, um, those his earlier good deployment um, has resulted in him being able to get the three star. So it was I know it was very tight on time as well. So I had to show this raid, Brandon. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to have covered these raids on, other, on their their own channels, but, you know, um, it, this is me commentating, not anyone else. So I'm going to show two more raids, and then we're going to call it a day and call it an end on this um, this whole series. So it's another Go Wee Wee, and it's by Brandon's Max account. It's versus the Max Tunnel 9, which I got my 99% on. He didn't decide. He decided not to do anything about La Loon, and he just wanted to do a flat ground attack. Um, with level forty heroes, it's it's a lot easier. Let's just say, um, especially with Max Freeze as well, to get jobs like this done, um, and just do a flat ground smash through the base. I think this is obviously a lot less close than uh, his other raid we've just seen was. That freeze spell I don't quite get. I think it was to stop the mortar. Um, and the Tesla, maybe, um, I don't know if he intended to get the Expo as well. Um, but you can see the troops, because it's quite a tight, all the point defence is quite tightly knit together. Um, the the troops, the, the wizards are doing some great damage and a lot of the defences are gone. There's only two, four left at the moment. Another couple about to go down, I think. Cannon, both cannons gone. Here come the arch towers. The wizards are gonna turn on it in a second at the top side and that's the last point defense that can uh, do anything and it's down queen at full health almost and that's it this was an absolute massacre so fair play <laughs> fair play to uh, Brandon for just being able to melt a base like that the last red I'm going to show is by Nick who's took down one of the top tunnel tens um, very nice Nice looking base, as in Tunnel 10, max defence by the look of it. Um, l lavas, clearly, within the base, which always look, makes the base look a lot nicer. Um, and it's straight in uh, Go... Is it a Go Wee Wipe or a Go Wipe? Um, can't see any witches at the moment. It must be a Go Wee Wipe. All oh, those loons have done some pretty high damage on the golems. Um, it must be... I think it's a Go Wipe anyway can't see any witches around but it's just a straight up rush towards the town hall that's what go wipes about really you just need to get a bit of a spread take down some outside buildings guide the heroes and the peckers into the core and they're on the town hall now nicely timed freeze spell to just keep um well yeah stop any of those as much defense as you can from taking down stopping the troops and then just hoping they're going to push through and hit to get towards the uh the 50 percent now Queen's in a nice position, so even if all else fails now, the Queen should be able to clutch it. Um, and he has got some back-end minions as well, to, just to make sure if he needs a few extra percentage points. With that arch tower going down as well, he's just freed up a load of percent down the bottom side of the base. Um, in fact, this raid goes on an awful long time, so I assume he's just getting clean up and getting the extra percentage with all that time. Which... I don't really bother with if I've if it's not going to be a three star. I don't need the extra percent just to show. Look, I got a high percent. If it's not if it's not going to be anywhere close, um, but I suppose for for some people it's nice to say. Well, you know, I got seventy percent on a on a maxed out base. So yeah, fair play, nice clean two star. I wanted to uh, thank everyone that was. I've already sort of done this and said this a few times, but it was a really, I, I don't know if I expected it to be a tougher war or, or what, but it just was a, it was really, really easy. I got 199% myself. If you look at the stats, um, let's look at the YouTubers themselves in terms of 
29 attacks done, 26, there's only 3 fails. Hold on, let me uh, switch it back to English for this bit. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Um, oh, what am I doing? War recap. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, if we go into the stats. Three lost, one um, one attack remaining, ten three stars, five two stars. On a 15 clan attack war with five tunnel tens, that is what you'd expect. Or ho A lot of clans would be happy with that. Um, personally, I'd like to see a couple of tunnel ten three stars. However, the, the, a, lot, a few of their tunnel tens were quite strong. Um, nice average destruction. Jewish got the um, most heroic, but I'm not going to bother showing that. Um... Basically because he hasn't shown any videos of the war, so why would I want to show that? Um, but that's my choice, and that's the way it is. Anyway, yeah, you can see me. I got my 199%, which is a little bit unlucky. If I'd have timed, <coughs> timed it a little bit better, I could have done a better job myself. But, guys, as with the previous videos, the other YouTubers' um, channels are in the description. Please go check them out. Um, and yeah, let's. I, I'm looking forward to the next event. It was a good war. I hope you enjoyed w looking through the war recap of some different content than I normally show. And yeah, I'll catch you back with the the standard set of videos. I'm about to start do, uploading Learning La Loon and that sort of thing, and back to uh, what you know me for. So peace out, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.